Welcome, this is week six, lesson 26. Hi, here are some things that you should be doing every single day to strengthen your literacy skills. Make sure you watch the alphabet chant video every day. Read your decodable reader for the week. Practice your high frequency word list. Make sure you're reading 20 minutes a day and completing a reading log entry. We also wanna make sure that you're practicing your handwriting skills. With a sheet of paper, practice your letters from A to Z, writing your high frequency words, CBC words, and also writing short and simple sentences. Try to do this every day. Hello, my name is Ms. Schultz and I will be your virtual teacher today. I hope you're ready to learn some fun and exciting things. Okay, so go ahead, make sure you're sitting straight and tall and ready to learn. Sit down and come together, together, together. Sit down and come together, together, right now. It's time to practice sounds and blend them together. Let's practice our high frequency words and write them down. We are going to read the word in the box. Look at the box. That word is we. Say the word, we. Say the word one more time, we. When you see this word, you will say, we. If there's a partner in the room with you today, go ahead and talk to your partner and tell your partner that word. Let me hear you say it. Okay, say the word one more time, we. Very good. We are going to read the word in the box, all. This word is all. Read with me, all. Read the word with me again, all. Go ahead and read the word by yourself. When you see this word, you are going to say all. Turn and talk to someone in, that's sitting next to you. Tell them that word. Very good, the word is all. We are going to read one. This word is one. Read the word with me. One. Read the word with me again. One. Go ahead and read the word independently. Turn and talk to your neighbor and say the word. Did you say the word one? Good job. When we see this word, we say one. This sound says ank, as in bank. What's the sound? Ank. Say the sound with me. Ank. Say the sound on your own. Very good. Now take turns with your partner and say the sound. Good job. If you said ank each time, that is the sound. This sound says ink, as in sink. What's the sound? Ink. Say the sound with me. Ink. Say the sound on your own. Take turns and speak to someone else and say the sound. If you said the sound ink, you have pronounced it properly. Earlier we saw the sound ink. Um, and so with this word, we are going to look at the ending sound and because the ending sound we learned before was ink, when we do our syllabication, we're gonna make sure that we tap it out with just two sounds. So watch Ms. Schultz. Ready? Pa, ink, pink. So pa, ink, pink. Go ahead and try that with me. Let's do the first sound. What's the first sound you hear? Pa. And what's that ending sound, I-N-K, all three of those letters make one sound, ink. So put it together, P, ink, pink. Good job. Gather around together and listen up well. We're going to read a story that you can retell. When we read the story, you will grow. At the end, you'll say back what you know. 
We have two learning targets. The first learning target, I can retell the events from the story, Josh and Chip at the farm. Our second learning target, using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the story, Josh and Chip at the farm. As I read the story, I want you to listen, pay close attention to the details, and later we'll have some questions concerning the story. The title of the story, Josh and Chip at the Farm. Josh and Chip are hanging out in the alley. What are you going to do today, Josh asks. No plan, says Chip. They sit in silence for a moment. Then Chip has an idea. Let's go on a trip, he says. To where, asks Josh. Anywhere. We can sneak on the bus and see where it takes us. Josh thinks this is a great idea. They heard of the street just in time to sneak onto the bus along with the human passengers. Josh and Chip crawl under an empty seat and wait. The bus stops. Some people get on. Some people get off. They wait and wait. Then they finally decide to get off the bus and see where it has taken them. They look around. There are trees everywhere and no tall buildings like they have in their neighborhoods and no people. Where are we? asks Josh as he looks around. And what is that? They both look at the big red buildings with a white roof. I think I see animals in there, Chip says as he looks closer. Then they notice another cat. Hi, friends, says the farm cat. She looks a little different from the cat in the alley. She talks a little different too. Josh says, hi to you. May I ask, where are we? You are at the farm, says the friendly cat. Josh and Chip have never been or even heard of a farm. Let me show you around, says the farm cat. Josh and Chip follow her to the big red building. They find out it's called a barn. The farm cat shows them a big round snorty animal called a pig. He lives in a pen and rolls around in the mud, says the cat. Then she shows them chickens. This is the main chicken. She's a hen and lays eggs. Then they see a farm rat. You have rats here too, asks Josh. Oh yes, says the cat. There are a whole rat family living in the barn. Josh says, when we first got here, I thought the farm was so different from our neighborhood. In some ways it is, but in some ways it's the same too. It gets dark, so Josh and Chip decide they should probably try to catch the bus and go back to their neighborhood. They thank the farm cat for her kindness. They promise they will return another day when they feel like taking another trip. At the beginning of the story, what do Josh and Chip decide to do? So think about the story we just read and see if you can recall. Think for a minute. At the very beginning of the story, what do Josh and Chip decide to do? Go ahead and talk to your neighbor if you need to. Oh, did I hear somebody say they snuck onto the bus? I think you're right. They did. They snuck onto the bus to take a trip. Yeah, they did. So if you said that they snuck onto that bus, got under that seat and sat quietly to take that trip, you're correct. Whose idea was it to do this? Whose idea? There are two characters. Josh is a character and Chip is a major character. Whose idea was it to take this trip? Whose idea was it to sneak onto the bus? Oh good, I heard you say Chip. It was Chip's idea to sneak onto the bus. But guess what?
before we go on to any more comprehension tests, I mean comprehension questions, I want to look at that word sneak. Is it good to sneak and do anything? No. This story is a make-believe story, okay? So Josh and Chip, they snuck onto the bus, but boys and girls don't sneak. It's not a good idea to sneak and do anything. But they did. This is a make-believe story. Okay, very good. When they first get off the bus and look around them, what do they see? So as they were traveling on the bus, people were getting in on, people were getting off. Then when they finally got off, what did Josh and Chip see? What were their surroundings? What did they see? Oh, good. I heard, I heard you. I heard you. Yes, they did. They saw trees, lots of trees, and they saw a big red structure, a big red building with a white roof. They saw that, yes. What do we call those that we see? Like when you, did they know what it was at first? No, they didn't. Okay. So what animals does the cat show them? The cat showed them some animals. Where were they at? When they saw the trees and that red building with the white roof, good, I heard someone say they were at a barn. They were at a farm. Yes, they were at a farm, and that was the barn that they saw. And in that barn, that cat showed them some animals. What animals? Can you recall what animals she showed them? I think there was four animals. See if you can recall four animals that the cat showed. I heard someone, yes. Yes, a rat, yes. It was a family of rats, right? Yes. Pigs, mm-hmm. Chickens. A hen, yes. And the hen we know lays the eggs. I heard somebody else say a cow and a horse. Those are at the farm too. They just weren't in our story. But good job, good job, very good. At the beginning of the story, it says that Josh and Chip sit in silence for a moment. What is another way to say that? Look at the quotation marks, sit in silence for a moment. Those quotation marks, what is another way to say that? Go ahead and talk to somebody next to you. Share your answer. Okay. I heard someone to say, be quiet. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. They sat without talking. They were quiet and thinking. So when we sit in silence, we don't say anything and we're just quiet. Really good, very good. The cat shows them a snorty pig. What does the word snorty tell us about the pig? Now, imagine, put in your mind, what does a pig look like, okay? And it's a snorty pig, snorty. What do you think that means? Not short, no, not fat. I'll give you a hint, it's a sound that the pig makes. I heard someone, did you go? <coughs> do that with your nose, make your nose go. <coughs> you look like a pig. <coughs> Snorty, very good. It snorts a lot. Make that sound again. Yes, a snorty pig. Right, that's what it does. It snorts a lot. The author writes that the pig lies in a pen. What must be a pen? What is a pen? The pig lies in a pen. Now, when we look at that word, it's spelled P-E-N, a pen. Where? I heard it. Yep. It's house. It's home, right? Where it lives. It's habitat. And the pigs, they live on a farm. Yeah, they live on a farm. And in our story, it said that they, yes, they roll in the mud. They get dirty and they snort and they smell stinky. They're pigs. Like, <laughs> Have you ever heard, remember in the classroom, um, like your teacher might say, this looks like a pigsty in here, like where little pigs live. And you're like, no, 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 boys and girls are here. So the teacher wants you to clean up and make it nice and neat. 
or your mom or dad might come in and say, this room looks like a pig's pen. So it means it's messy and it's stuff all over the place. So pigs lie in a pig pen where they live. Very good. I like the way you made those connections. Do Josh and Chip know where the bus is taking them? When they get on the bus, did they know where they were going? No, they did not know where they were going. At the end of the story, Josh says, when we first got here, I thought the farm was so different from our neighborhood. In some ways it is, but in some ways it is the same too. How is this farm different from their neighborhood? Think for a minute, how was the farm different from their neighborhood? Go ahead and just shout out some of those things. I heard someone say, yeah, there was lots of trees, okay. They had a big red barn, yes. There was all kinds of animals, right, chickens, right. So their neighborhood is probably like your neighborhood. Their neighborhood had buildings, there was an alley, there was lots of cars. There's no chickens and pigs at your house. So the farm was different, right? At the farm, there may have been a dirt road. There were lots of trees. Um, you know, they had chickens and cows maybe, and they had eggs that they were gathered from the barn, from the hen, right? So there were lots of differences. Was there anything the same? How was it the same? Oh, I heard someone say they, they had kindness there. Yes, kindness at their home and kindness at the farm. Yes, they had a cat. Oh, someone said they have a cat, yes. Yeah, someone said that the corner store may be painted red. So maybe the building may be the same color, but there's something different at the gas station than at the barn, yes. Very good. So there's some things that are similar and some things that were very different about the farm. Have any of you ever been to a farm? Raise your hands. Go ahead and give me a show to a wave if you've been to the farm. If you've ever been to a farm, okay? Somebody said they've never been to a farm, but I know most of you have been to the apple orchard. You've been to the apple orchard, which is kind of like a farm. So yes, I heard that. Very good. Now we'll read a story with letters that we know. Get your finger ready to follow the flow. When we see a word, we'll stop and look and get our mouths ready to read the book. Let's review our learning targets. I can read the text, Josh and Chip at the farm. I can use my knowledge of letters and sounds to read words. I can recognize and read many high frequency words by sight. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read your decodable and I want you to follow along. And this first time that we read, I'm gonna read, Ms. Schultz is gonna read and you're just gonna listen and follow along with your pointer finger. And then you will have a chance afterwards to read it independently. So let's read our decodable together. Follow along. Josh and Chip at the farm. Josh and Chip get in a bus. Where are they? A cat is there. They chat with the cat. They see a pig in a pen. There is a lot of mud. They see a hen and a rat. They get on the bus. Okay, now I'd like for you to read the story independently. Josh and Chip at the farm. So you want to click pause so that you have a chance to read it. So you want to reread Josh and Chip at the farm two times. I want you to read it two times. Place a dot under words that you are having a hard time reading, that you can't sound out or you just don't know. 
and I want you to circle high frequency words. These are the three words I want you to look for. Where, there, and they. When you see those words, I want you to go ahead and circle those words. So go ahead and take your time and reread it two times. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we've learned. It's time to go to work. Go ahead and sing it one more time with me and put a clap or a little snap with it. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we've learned. It's time to go to work. Okay, make sure that you are on lesson 26, page 98. You should already be there, have your pencil. Make sure you put your name nice and neatly at the top of your paper. Josh and Chip at the farm. Reading comprehension activity sheet, page 98. Okay, so number one, how did Josh and Chip get to the farm? Circle your answer. A, car, B, truck, C, bus. Number two, what was the first animal Josh and Chip saw? Circle your answer. The snorty pig, the rat, or the kind cat? Go ahead and circle your answer. Number three, Write down all the animals Josh and Chip saw at the farm. I don't want you to do that right now because you may need to go back and revisit the text, okay? So that you can spell the words correctly and you can see what animals that um, were on the farm. Let's look at number four. What did Josh and Chip do with the cat? A, run. B, chat, C, nap. Circle your answer. Number five, the blank was in a pen with a lot of mud. Which one of those animals were in the pen with a lot of mud? Circle that animal. Number six, retell this story in your own words to a partner. So I want you to go back and finish number three, and you can look back in the text to find out what animals were on the farm. And then I want you to take your time and retell the story to your neighbor, okay? It is reflection time. What did you do today that is helping you become a more proficient reader? What are some of the things that you did today while we were learning in our lesson that helped you to become a proficient reader? We know that successful learners think about what they've learned and why it's important. Why is it important that we go over our lessons and that we learn? I could give you a hint. I'll help you start the sentence. It is important that we learn because, go ahead and fill in that blank. Hearing some good answers. Very good. It's always important that we learn. And we want to grow our vocabulary. We want to be fluent when we read. We want to have understanding. We want to learn new words. We should be able to sound out words like we did today with the sounds that they make. Like, for instance, when we sound out fed, we make fed, fed. Very good. So then when we come to words that we don't know, great job. Well, you did an excellent, awesome job today with learning. And someone, there'll be another teacher that will come back and teach you tomorrow. Until we see each other again, have a good day.